What's going on, everybody? My name is Gene, bringing you guys part 11 for my 100% playthrough on The Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening. As always, if you do enjoy the video, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, check me out on Twitch at Gene25 as I stream every Sunday, Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday for you guys. So go over there, follow me, and turn on your notifications so you don't miss out on anything. So guys, in the last episode, we actually rescued the pink ghost, brought him to his grave, and we actually opened up the color dungeon. But in this episode, we're going to be tackling the color dungeon and obtaining the item for this dungeon. And this isn't like any ordinary dungeon where it's just like you get the instrument for the dungeon. Like, no, we actually get a reward for ourselves. So this is like a secret dungeon that we can do on our own time. This guy's name is Guard. This is the color dungeon, and we're the color guard. You'll need magic powder to get anywhere in here. Say the word, and I'll sell you some. All right, let's check how much we have, see if we have plenty to go on. Yeah, we do, considering we got an upgrade from the little devil. But this first room starts off with these new enemies, like little ghost kind of things. They come after you, and then they pop up. Let's get it. Let's get it. Oh, I'm hyped for this. You get such a good reward, you can actually choose. This actually turns everything next to it, so left and right. So let's hit this one, and they will all turn blue. And there we go. We get this puzzle right here. But yeah, we actually get to choose an item, but we get a crack wall here. You drop a bomb and then go grab this chest real quick. But, like I was saying, you get to choose between two items. It's either, like, you, it's your decision. So, we'll see which one I want. Because I'm, like, skeptical about which one I want. But, we actually get ourselves a compass here. So now, so now we can see all the chests. But we blow up this wall and get a treasure room, basically. And we actually need tons of rupees. Because I want to buy something in this episode that's, like, a boatload of rupees. <laughs> like, well, I don't even, I think we don't even have enough yet. But now we got this little chump. Oh, we got to keep jumping over here. You can slap it on this fool and take him out, but that doesn't really do anything. They're like, dang, there's trampolines right there. Oh, look at these cool little enemies. We got this cool little puzzle. We're going to take this blue one, put him in the blue hole, smack this fool, walk him around, throw him in the red one. Pretty simple. Yeah, this, this dungeon is, like, rather short. It's, like, it's maybe, like, a half dungeon. I would consider it, like, a mini dungeon more than anything than a main dungeon. Because you don't have to do this in order to beat the game. This is, like... A little side thing that just helps you out and makes everything easier and better if you want 100% the game but it is so nice to do this ah get away from me ghost what you want fool oh you can't hit them when they're under the ground let me smack one with a pot come here pop up <laughs> mark what you want fool get over here get out of my face dude this opens up the path right here Ooh, little compass beeping what you want fools what you want get out of here he keeps bouncing on these things breaking them get out of here there we go. We defeat the, both of those enemies and just grab this little chest right here, which has a small key that we need. Let's get it. Let's get it. Next order of business, through this door. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. We're not going to head through that small key door because I actually want to head this way. I believe there should be something going on up here. So we make our way here. We got these trampoline pads again. What you want? This one's flying. So, oh, when they fly, you got to knock off their wings. Oh, my Lord. Get out of my face. Right, he's just going to fall down and die on his own. That's fine. But we didn't even have to kill him. Okay, another little puzzle here. We gotta turn all these, so we're gonna we're gonna hit that. We're gonna turn yellow. Hmm. We're getting cold. Hmm. This one's a little confusing. All right, all right. So we gotta turn these to the same color. Let's hit this one. Hit this one. Yeah, let's hit this one. Oh my god. This seems like such a pain. Oh, okay. We're getting closer. We're getting closer, ladies and gentlemen. Let's hit this one. Now let's hit this one. Like this one. Oh my god. <laughs> no! Oh, we had it the last time when we had three just chilling in the same color. Let's hit this one. Let's hit this one. This one? When we had three, we had it. There we go. Okay, now we got it. We just have to change these to blue. There we go. Whew. A little confusing there. But yeah, we had it earlier. I was like, come on, man. <laughs> I can make my way in these rooms. I like these little slime little enemies. This dungeon is called the color dungeon because, I don't know, everything's just based on color. But we're going to use this small key to actually open up this door right here and get moving along up here. And look at this. We got ourselves the mini boss for this dungeon already. Boo! I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. So look at this guy. He's actually a giant electric chew. And you guys know about electric chews. You cannot hit them because they will actually shock you. So if you use your magic powder, you can take the electric off them and just get whomping on them. That's why they said you need electric powder. Or not electric powder. Magic powder. Get out of my face. Ooh, we missed that. Come here. Ah! <laughs> punk. What a punk. Dude, you stop slamming on me, fool. Do we, I think we have an extra uh, fairy, but I think we're just going to use this fairy that he gives us right here. Considering how, how low are we on hearts. Jeez, man. Ah! 
Uh, we are gonna have to use a fairy right here. Why well, same fool? Your sword won't hurt. I already know this, but we are going to use a fairy real quick. We're just gonna equip it with X, so we can do all that. Magic powder. I'm gonna start whooping on him again. Get out of my face. What you want? There we go. Yeah, our sword won't work. Get out of my face. But he is actually going to die and drop a fairy, so it's fine that we use one. We use one, gain one. Let's pick it up here <laughs> and put it in our bottle for later. Oh, they actually. Uh, did they restore us to full health, or is it only like a certain amount of healings? Well, let's take this back off our list. Bring out Rock's Feather once again. Dude, Rock's Feather is probably one of the most useful items here. A chest! So, it's pretty simple right here. You just push these two and slide this one down. Look at us go. Look at us go, ladies and gentlemen. And guess what, guys? On streams and all that, on Twitch, at Genes25, if you want to come check me out, we're going to be start playing some new games like Splatoon 2 and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Online, which will be so much fun. But let me know in the comment section down below, would you guys like to see Splatoon 2? It is such a fun game. I think I'm going to start playing it on the channel for a little bit. It's an online multiplayer. It's like a, a shoot 'em up game. It's fun. Just check it out and then let me know. But we're actually going to make our way down this way, back to this door now that we have the Nightmare Key. We can actually open up. They, ooh, we tried coming after us. We can actually open this up with small key. We got another another mini boss. What is this? What a greedy fool! You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Would you call me, Pooh? Would you call me? So he's actually gonna slam down some rocks. And we're just gonna whoop on his feet and all that. Get out of my face! Get out of here! So let him do his little rock stuff. But we actually have to jump when he slams down because he causes like a shockwave effect and it'll stun us. So just keep jumping and all that. It's pretty simple. Oh, dang. We're getting low on health again. Ah! Get out of here. We got the medicine just in case, though. But we good. We take this guy down to one knee. Look at him. Take him out. He's going to drop us a fairy, which we're just going to use right now. Give me that. Yay! <laughs> Fills us back up the full and we keep moving on with this dungeon. Get out of my face. I'm going to let these guys fall. They did their own thing. We actually have to smack this fool. Get out of here. He's done for. He's done. All right. We chill, we chill. What's over here? Okay, this is how you open the doors. You step on this little switch right here. Let's see which way we want to go. So we got left or up. We're going to go up. We're going to get started on this up path right here. What we got up here? We got these little shoes. What you want? You ain't messing with me. And we got a nice piece of power so we can actually just start running through enemies right now. What you want, fool? Get out of here. <laughs> blam, blam. Ooh, another color thing. Hey, what you want? Oh, we slapped them into the right places. <laughs> Oh, no, he missed it. <laughs> Let's see if we can wall hit this. Ah, you punk. It's just problem. Popping out, smacking on me. <laughs> Come on, one more. Come here, Mr. Yellow Triangle. Yeah. Why are you kidding me? Get over here. All right, looks like we're going to stand back just a little bit farther. Right here should be good. There we go. Give me this extra small key. This is what we need. We are now start moving along here. And groove it along. You can actually pick up these pots and just slam these holes. Ah! Leave me alone! Get out of here. You know what? Screw you, that guy. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving along. Jump. Oh my lord, yo, he's slamming bombs on us. We can make our way. Oh my god, not another one of these puzzles. Alright. Just gonna move the three around it. Okay. Let's go here. I think we got it. This moves all three of these. We're good. Oh! Look at us go, baby! Let's get it! <laughs> How come the other one was so much harder for us? Let's go. Get out of here, all you choose. We didn't have to defeat him. We got our last small key. We're going to use it on this door right here. And open this up. And what's inside? We got the, n the boss door. The nightmare key. I don't know what to call it. The nightmare door? Or the boss door? I call it the boss door. Because most games, it's like the boss key and the boss door. But this one calls it the nightmare key. So we're going to actually head in here and face off with the final boss for this color dungeon. Look at this boy. He's like a turtle bug. I don't know what he is. This is safe. I'm safe. The hard hit beetle. So as you can tell, he has like a nice little like shell up top. We got to start breaking on it. So you got to use rocks, feather to jump, dodge stuff, and swing at his head. Get out of here, boy. He's rather, he's not that hard. Step back. Take your time, he's saying. Because we are actually almost done with him. Ah! He starts sending a bunch of enemies, jumping over stuff. I think we're like one more hit. There we go. <laughs> Whooped on him. Just completely whooped on him. Let's get it. Do I capture this fairy? I say we capture this fairy. We can double up with the bottles. Let's do it. Where we at? Let's go here. Come here, fairy. Yes, let's go. Now we have two fairies in a bottle and we are stacking up. So it's going to be tough for us to die here. Let's uh switch this back out to the shovel because the shovel is always nice to have. But now we can make our way to the end of this dungeon. And we got this fairy fountain right here. Let's talk to her. 
Welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? So we are actually obtaining another tunic, which is Link's outfit. So if we choose the red one, we get stronger hits. So we like double our attack. But if we choose the blue one, we get better defense. That's tough, man. That's real tough. I, I don't know what to pick. Well, we're wearing blue, so... Red it is! Let's go! I want better attack right now. Are you sure we want the red mail? Yeah, we want it. As you wish. S so shall it be. Yes, give it to me. Relax, close your eyes. I'm closing them. I'm closing them. But guys, I would, if I was doing a hero mode playthrough where it's like you take double hits, I would recommend taking the blue one. But in this playthrough, we got plenty of hearts. We got fairies and all that. And we got Tracy's medicine. So like better attack would be the way to go. You got the red mail. Your body is full of energy. Let's get it. I will now take you back outside. Let's go. So now we hit harder, which is awesome. Like, I'm more of a defense guy, but we have all of our uh, stuff now. Like, we have a bunch of hearts and all that, so it's better just to go with attack, especially in a normal playthrough. But now, before we actually get moving along, we're going to head over here. As you can see, the little sensor went off. Dig in this little hole. Get out of here. Look at this. We just ripped these birds in one hit now. Get out my face. Can we dig in this hole? There we go. We can grab ourselves another secret seashell. There we go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Give me that. Give me that. But before we actually head back to town, let me actually bring out my ocarina. Because what I want to do is actually play Mambo's Mambo. And actually travel back to the third dungeon, I believe. Because we actually forgot something in this dungeon. Which is going to come in clutch. Because we actually need more rupees in order to go back to the shop and buy an item. But we don't have enough rupees. And I actually forgot something. All the way back to this dungeon. And I'm surprised nobody was like, yo, you forgot a chest. Like, look at all my dungeon map and all that. So we're actually going to make our way back to this dungeon real quick and obtain this chest, which will... It's actually like a big reward. Like, how'd I miss this thing? But luckily, we're going back. Considering we're doing 100% playthrough, I gotta go back. I can't just leave this one chest that I didn't get in the dungeon. That'd be ridiculous. That'd just be ridiculous. We can make our way back this way. We want Rock's Feather once again to be able to hop over these little ponds and areas. We can head back inside. What is this, the slime cavern? Is that what it is? The key cavern? Slime? I don't know. Let's see. What's it called? It's the key cavern. That's what it is. But what we want to do here is that actually if you look at your map, we missed this one chest right here. So what we want to do is actually like just slap on these fools real quick. Actually want to run up here and break all these. And as you can see, it should go right there. But you got to destroy all the enemies. But we never destroyed the enemy on that left side right here. That little slime right there. So now we got to actually head all the way back. And up through the rooms and all that. Stab this fool again. Oh, he's bombing. Get out of my face. Oh, he just murked him. But watch how quick we can destroy these uh things now. These little skeletons with our new sturdy red mail. Get out of here. It's like we have a piece of power at all times now. It is just awesome. And we get this chest that we never obtained before. Oh my god, but this red mail outfit is just so much better than the regular. But we obtain this. It is a gold ruby, which is worth 300, which is just awesome. So, now we can actually make our way out of here. Can we actually use this in dungeons? I hope so. Let's see. Warp to entrance. What? We can warp to entrance with this. Because I remember Mambo Mambo saying that how we can like warp to entrances or just try it in dungeons. But I didn't know what it actually did. And now, with that 300 rupee, we can actually play this song and make our way back to the Mabe village shop. So we're going to head back to the Yukuku Prairie and get going there, considering that's the closest one. I think there should be a warp point right in Mabe Village, considering that's the main village. you got the claw machine and all that. Like, why not? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, why bring us to the Yukuku Prairie? Like, it'd be better to have one at the village and then just walk to the prairie. But how much rupees do we have? Oh, we're in the thousands. We are in the thousands. But look at our outfit right here now. It's red. Maybe we can get the blue one later. I'm hoping. I'm hoping we can get the blue one. Like, both of them in the side. So, what we actually came here for was this bow and arrow set, which is 980 rupees. Bow and arrow set, only 980 rupees. Get out of my face. Thanks a lot. Come again. So, what you can actually do is you can actually steal items from the guy, to be honest. It's pretty funny. But we're going to make our way, or we have to use Mambo, Mambo thing. And we're going to make our way back to Animal Village and then start heading to the next dungeon where we can get our next instrument. But like I was saying, you can actually steal items from that shop right there. Like, you pick them up and you walk out. But you are like, I think you're considered like a thief for the rest of the game. Like, they don't call you Link anymore. They call you Thief. And next time you walk in there, the guy literally just murks you. Like, he, he does like this electric power and he literally just kills you. Just starts shocking you up and murks you. Like, completely. It is the funniest thing ever. 
Like, it has me dying. Like, I saw a video of it, and the guy's just like, Mwah! He just slams on you. It is so funny. <clears throat> but we can actually start making our way this way. We got hit by that little electric guy. But it's all good. We chillin'. We chillin'. We're gonna hop in the water and get swimming over here. Because we are just about done here. We're gonna make our way over here. Grab something and then make a way. That is the next dungeon. We actually don't need a key for it. We just need to find a way in it. Dude, that Zora sniped us. You see him snipe us? He sniped us. Right, we can actually swim faster. But as you guys remember in the last episode, we actually marked this piece of heart right here on the map. And now we can get it because we were coming over this way. So now we can grab this piece of heart, regenerate all of our hearts, and start adding another one to our collection. But let's go. Let's go. Let's keep swimming over here. But there is no way in here. But as you can see, you got these little bubbles right here. If you dive down here... You can actually swim under, which is just awesome. But I like this little scene. Like how it's like a 2D swim area. Like look how cool that is. I love this. We actually did this in the, the last main dungeon. Not the color dungeon, but in the last dungeon. But we can actually make our way up here. I actually like the blue tunic just the way it looks, but the red tunic is so good. Just double hits. It's just the best. It's just the best. But we can actually make our way right here to... This is a uh, Mallfish's Cove? I forget. But this is the next dungeon on our list. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, subscribe to the channel. As in the next episode, we are going to be moving on to our fourth dungeon? Fifth dungeon. Fifth dungeon and obtaining our fifth instrument. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out, everyone.